Ooh, hello there, my fellow Scars. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another creative fun time episode here in Scar World, where we're building the S'more House. And in today's episode, we will work on our living room furniture and all sorts of other great details. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back. And let's head right down into the S'more House and get started for today's project here. So as you can see, we're starting to get ourselves a house. Bob the Building Creeper Inspector's here, making sure everything's up to code. And of course, Jelly is assembling the cat defense force to rid the land of all them creepers. But anyway, let's head inside here. And we've gotten a ton of work done in this house. We've gotten our staircases and interior design, bathrooms and Twitch streaming rooms, of course, and our first living room here. Now the house may have three living rooms. It's because I've got quite a few different ideas for different styles and I uh, just kind of want to uh, experiment a little bit of course so this is where we're going to be working this is now the lower level kind of living area of the house so we're going to have an additional kind of living space right here and then moving into this zone we're going to have ourselves a dining room kitchen of course our entrance into our garage will be over there and of course our main living room so we're going to have three but each one's going to be separate and unique in its different ways, so I think it'll be pretty cool. There's going to be a nice fireplace in the center of the room, and I think it'll look really cool. And of course, there'll be an out over there to the backyard. So yeah, let's get right into it, and let's grab our pallet of materials for the day and have it all assembled and ready to go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to head on over here, and we're going to start knocking out the glass here, or the milk chocolate like so. And we're just going to start cutting in like this. And you might be wondering to yourself, what is going on here, Scar? This will be kind of a decorative window that will be the uh, kind of the centerpiece of the living room. So inside these little squares, of course, we are going to apply some glass. So let me actually jump over here, grab myself some milk chocolate, and then I'm going to run this all the way down here like so. Bring that across there. So we're just kind of getting like always the structural details set for the room. So then we can eventually get in here and start applying all the good stuff, all the little details and all that. There we go, sweet. And then we can jump on over here and start applying this. So one thing we could do is do panes or we could do solid blocks. So that's kind of up to you guys. What do you guys like better? Do you like solid panes or would you like glass blocks? So I guess A would be glass blocks and B would be panes. So let me know, what one do you guys think would look better? We could get a little bit more depth with panes. So yeah, we'll, we'll think about it. Okay, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to start measuring out our floor. So I'm going to start to do that and give me one second. And there we go. So what I've done here is I've carved out a section that's nine by 11. So I went over here, carved out a little section going nine. And then from here, all the way down here is 11. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some lime green stained clay as a carpet. Now, as you can see, this will be you know, really nice with our little chairs that we have for our entryway. So I think that'll uh, come out really nice. So once we get this down, I've got some some fun ideas for some couches. So I think that'll look pretty cool and it'll be kind of a fun design. So how are you doing? How are you doing today? Are you doing well? I'm doing pretty good. Today, I've got a milestone. This is a small thing, but chop the legs off the bottom of my bed so that my uh, bed's a little easier to get on and off of. Um, so when transferring with my wheelchair, it's not so hard. So I'm actually really happy today. I've got something really awesome done and I'm kind of excited about it because it'll literally make life easier and I'm pretty excited about that. It's the little things, right? It's little things in life that just sometimes make things so much easier. And let me just scoot on over here. And as you can see, oh, oh that's a scar mistake right there, my friends. You just witnessed it right there. Awesome, there we go. So as you can see, there we go. We've got our chairs, kind of a different little design than usual. I'm kinda, I kind of like it, I kind of like it. Um, what we could do is grab ourselves a half slab, but I don't know where there is any. So we'll head into our magical inventory and we'll grab one out and we'll go boom, bada, bam, there we go. Looking good, looking good, but we need something else something else and that's why i have this carpet in my inventory um we could do light clay also or not light but light gray um we'll, we'll work with that for a little bit but i kind of like that so far sweet okay um let's scoot on over here and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start right about here and we're gonna bring that all the way across so that's one two three four five six seven beautiful and we're gonna sneak on the sides and we're going to head on over here do the same right there beautiful and then of course, you guessed it, bring that all the way across. 
And we're starting to get ourselves a living room set up and looking good. First thing I noticed, this needs to change. We need to add a little pillar across here. There we go. Start to bring in that depth. There we go, looking good. Okay, um, I have an idea for these little corners here, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, sweet, let's sample that. And then we'll just bring that across here. So yeah, we can experiment with the carpets to kind of determine exactly how we want to do it. But for now, I kind of like that. Okay, now we're gonna do is a coffee table kind of a unique coffee table. So that's kind of our pattern here that we want to get to. But yeah, I'm like I was saying, super happy right now because getting on my bed is going to be so much easier. I'm going to sample that. Um, just having it lower so that uh, it's not such a huge like rock climb to get up to the up to it. So it's the little things. It just makes life a little bit easier. And it's something I've been putting off for so long getting done. And it's finally it was just like, okay, we've got to get this done. This is going to make life easier. We just got to do it. We just got to get it done. And that's what I'm doing with my channel. There's so many things that I want to do with my channel to, uh, you know, kind of, you know, different like videos and stuff like that. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what? It's time. It's time to stop thinking. It's time to start doing. It's great to dream and come up with great ideas, but it's another thing to actually get something done. And that is what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start getting stuff done. Not, not dreaming about anything. No. A dream is fine, like we always talk about. It's great to have a dream, but it's more important to be able to accomplish the thing that you want to have done. Okay, so next thing we're going to do here is we're going to start like this. I'm going to go and bring this pattern all the way up like so. And then I'm going to sneak on over here and do something similar. So it just kind of gives us kind of a kind of a neat little pattern. Um, to try to spruce this up a little bit, let's grab a little bit of milk chocolate. And we're just going to go like a this. There we go. We're going to bring that up like that. And a boom, and there we go. It's kind of a cool little trellis design, and it kind of reminds me of a couple, you know, real kind of green building designs um, where they kind of incorporate um, something similar. So I'm I'm loving it. Let me know what you think. It's a little dark in here, so we need to kind of light things up and make it a little brighter. So let's clear our inventory and give ourselves a little bit of light. Let's grab ourselves a seed lantern and we're going to sneak our way up and grab some of these guys. There we go. And then I want to grab myself a pain and there it is. Sometimes it's a pain to find. Yes, it is. Okay, beautiful. And then we're just going to jump over here. I'm going to sneak up here like so. And then I'm going to go boom and bam. And then I'm going to jump over here. I'm going to grab my sea lantern and then go like that. Awesome. I wish, I wish we had sea lanterns in Scarland. That would be so sweet, but unfortunately, having structures generate in that world is just not something that it wants to do. So, that's a thing. And then I'm going to sneak these all the way around the edges here. So what we're doing is we're trying to kind of create kind of a, a modern chandelier, you know, something that's sleek and clean, but also has detail. And I'm kind of loving it. It looks like something out of Star Trek, and I'm all for that. And uh, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, um, next thing we need to do, we need to try, if we can, to get this to kind of look okay. I'm gonna go all the way across to here. I'm gonna open this up to about there. This section needs to go. There we go, that'll give us a three wide walkway. I'm gonna bring this piece all the way up like so. And I'm gonna run this all the way down here. This is a temporary setup till we work on our living or dining room that'll be in that section. Yes, that is the dining room, Scott. That is the dining room. And there we go. So give me one second. Let me kind of catch my breath for a moment and kind of go over everything and see if there's any improvements we can make. And I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back here. Just enjoying my brand new hot tub. Looking good, looking good. Um, one thing that drives me crazy in Minecraft is when you do these cool little thresholds like this, that the wall choice, you know, like our uh, marshmallow here, doesn't go all the way through. See, there's that little sliver of dark chocolate down there. That is just a little pet peeve of mine that drives me crazy. And when I see those little parts that I forgot, I always go, ah. Oh. Face palm, scar fail. All right, so as you can see, we're looking good. We are looking good, but I've found some modifications that we can make that I think will look pretty cool. So I'm gonna run this all the way out to here, as you can see, and this will be kind of a future design once we get our dining room set up. So I'm gonna run this all the way out to here. I'm gonna sneak on down like so, and I'm gonna bring this all the way to there. And that is kind of the design that will separate the dining room from our living space out here. 
and I think that looks pretty good. I think that'll look pretty good, especially once everything is together. Of course, this is all little puzzle pieces that were slowly but surely fitting together, and uh, it'll sure take a bit more time, but we'll get there, we'll get there. There we go. And this is just a little table back here. Now, this can be multiple things. This, oh, wait, you're not right. This is right. We just need to put some pot in there. There we go. Get that right there. Beautiful. So we've got our pots all arranged, and we can kind of choose between which color, what kind of plant, and different things like that we can put in there. That's one option. Another option we could do is do some form of lantern. So if we swap those out, and let me just look through our magical inventory of wonder here, and let's see. Hmm, where do they keep the posts these days? Oh, here you are. There they are. They're always hiding from me. There we go. And I'm just going to sneak this over here and a boom and a bam. And then I am going to, I need a sea lantern. I need a sea lantern. I'm just going to borrow this for now. Um, what you could do is do some lamps back here. And wow, I am just breaking everything today. Um, as you can see, something like that. It wouldn't be glowstone, but it's another option you could do. But I think I'm going to stick with the pot and plants. Um, I think that looks good to me. I think something like that i think looks good and yeah i think that is that is our living room out here and i think this is this is what i want to do i like it and i think we got, the pots are going to look good now like i said you could try something different back there and if you do definitely let me know on twitter you can follow the link in the description to follow me on twitter and there we go my friends this has been good times with scar and i hope you enjoyed today's furniture and living room build here and if you're building along like i said definitely show your progress to me on twitter i love to see all of the progress you guys are making on the house and of course your own personal touches that you've made to it and yeah so until next time this has been good times with scar and we'll see you later